anthers of malvasi are anthers of malvasi are reniform dorsifixed and monothecous they are not bifixed they are not linear they are not reniform versatile they are reniform dorsifixed monothecous reniform means they appear kidney shaped dorsifixed means filament is present almost on the mid dorsal side of the anther and monothecous it has only one anther lobe so monothecous reniform dorsifixed is the condition of stamens in malvasi next it is a matching worm or assertion reason malvasi members do not show adnation with andrisium malvasi members do not show adnation with andrisium monodelphus is a common feature among the cotton family members cotton family is malvasi malvasi members do not show adnation is wrong malvasi members show adnation with the andrisium why because the basal portion of the filament of the anther is attached to the petals so it shows adnation monodelphy is a common feature of cotton family is correct so here answer is a is false or is true one of the following for the first time considered floral characters for classification of plants for the first time floral characters andrisium and gynesium stamens and carpels number position and other things were taken into consideration by linnaeus one of the following scientists for the first time considered floral characters for classification of plants was linnaeus not digestive decandol hooker read the following statement about abitalon and identify the correct combination read the following statements about abutilon and identify the correct combination it is a medicinal plant is correct 3 to 10 epicalyx present is wrong because in abutilon epicalyx is absent locally settled capsule is wrong because in abutilon the fruit is schizocarp schizocarp is a fruit which comes from multicarpillary syncarpus multilocular superior ovary the fruit at maturity breaks up into many bits called mericarps whose number is equal to the number of carpels star like trichomes and resin ducts are present resin ducts are completely absent mucilaginous cavities are present star like trichomes is okay but not resin ducts mucilaginous cavities are present so 2 3 4 are totally wrong only one is correct it is basically a medicinal plant gamma petalae is classified into three series based on which of the following characters nature of ovary and mirosity of the flower next first option fiber yielding and leafy vegetable of malvasi fiber yielding and leafy vegetable of malvasi is hibiscus cannabinus althea rosea abutlan indicum cedra cardifolia are different types of plants which are not giving fiber and leafy vegetables Among the following, identify the main characters of the family Malvaceae. Main character of the family Malvaceae, we have given three characters: spinous pollen grains, epicalyx, schizocarp. Spinous pollen grains are found only in Malvaceae. Epicalyx is found in Malvaceae, but there are some exceptions like Cedra and Abutilon. Schizocarp is found only in Cedra and Abutilon, but not in all the plants of malvasi but epicalyx is found in majority of the plants of malvasi so answer for this will be 1 1 and 2 spinous pollen grains and epicalyx so these are some of the important bits these are the some of the important bits regarding classification of plant kingdom up to bentham and ducker system of classification and the position of family and bentham and ducker system and finally about malvasi now we discuss the bits from malvasi now bits from fabaceae solanaceae liliaceae taxonomy is an important part in any mset exam 
coming to the bits from Fabaceae, Solanaceae and Liliaceae. First bit, in Crotalaria the flowers are epigynous. Crotalaria zanshia belongs to the family Fabaceae which is a fiber yielding plant which is popularly called sun hemp fiber. The flowers of Crotalaria is inferior. The speciality of Crotalaria is, Crotalaria is epigynous correct, sorry hypo perigynous is correct, thalamus is cup shaped and other thing. But in Crotalaria below the ovary there is a stalk is present and makes the ovary superior. So, because of the presence of stalk at the base, it makes the ovary superior. So, in this assertion, first is correct that is in Crotalaria flowers are perigynous, thalamus is cup shaped, ovary is present at the center attached only at the base, remaining floral parts at the rim of the thalamus, position of ovary is half superior or half inferior. But flowers of Crotalaria, ovary is inferior is wrong, ovary is always superior. This is the only plant in Fabaceae with superior ovaries. So, answer is 3, A is true, R is false. <coughs> now, there are two plants of Liliaceae A and B. In A, leaf apex is modified into, modified for mechanical function. In B, leaf apex is modified for vegetative reproduction. Identify A and B. So, in A, leaf is modified into mechanical function means tendril. In B, leaf apex is modified for vegetative propagation means epiphyllous bud. You have to identify like this. In A, the leaf apex is modified for mechanical function means it helps in climbing the support something like that. In B, the leaf apex is helping for vegetative propagation means it is epiphyllous bud. Leaf apex is modified into tendrilin. Gloriosa, epiphyllous buds are found in Scylla. Scylla is a plant, squill it is common name, it is a plant with tunicated bulb and epiphyllous buds. So, tunicated bulbs and epiphyllous buds are found in Scylla. So, here the question is, there are two plants of Liliaceae A and B. In A, leaf apex is modified for mechanical function means tendril. In B, the leaf apex is modified for vegetative reproduction is epiphyllous buds. Identify A and B means it is Gloriosa and Scylla. Gloriosa and Scylla is the answer for this question. Here, Yucca and Resina are fiber yielding plants of Liliaceae with anomalous secondary growth. Lathyrus and Pisum absolutely not belongs to Liliaceae, they belong to Fabes. Pisum and Scylla, Pisum belongs to Fabaceae, Scylla belongs to Liliaceae. So, answer is fourth one Gloriosa and Scylla. Assertion and reasoning question. The mechanism of pollination in Fabaceae is very popularly called piston mechanism. Papillionaceous corolla is present in Fabaceae. What is piston mechanism means calyx will be like this, corolla will be like this. This is a standard petal or vexillum. Standard petal or vexillum. It is papillionaceous corolla. There are two wing petals are alle. There are two keel petals called carine. These keel petals are slightly attached and enclose the essential organs andricium and gynecium. When an insect comes and alights on standard petal, it sits on wing petals. Once it sits on wing petals, it creates a pressure and pulls or pushes the wing petals downwards. When they pull the wing, pushes or wing petals downwards, they also create a pressure on carine or keel petals. They also push the keel petals downwards. When keel petals are pushed downwards, the andricium and gynecium come out and the andricium touches the body of the insects and liberates the pollen grains which get deposited on the body of the insects. The stigma collects the pollen grains present on the body of the insects. Insects try to go deep into the flower because in Fabaceae special character is nectary glands are present at the base of the ovary. After taking the nectar, insect goes off. Everything comes to normal position. So, movement of essential organs upward and downward direction, andricium and gynecium upward and downward direction is called as piston mechanism. So, the mechanism of pollination in Fabaceae is piston mechanism is correct. Papillionaceous corolla is present in Fabaceae because of papillionaceous corolla only piston mechanism occurs. So, both are related to each other. So, both A and R are correct. 
or is the correct explanation of A? Answer is 1. Next, select the correct ascending order sequence in the following. Number of stamens in a whorl of Datura 5. Number of floral hordes in a flower of hibiscus, floral hordes, calyx and corolla 10. Number of stamens in a flower of allium 6, allium always 6. Number of genera in liliaceae, number of genera in liliaceae are 254. Number of species in solanaceae, number of species in solanaceae is 2200. Answer is B, A, C, D, E. Ascending order means very less to large. B, number of floral hordes in the flower of hibiscus is 5. So, B. Number of stamens in your whorl is then B, A, C, D, E will be the answer for this question. Andrishamin crotalaria. Andrishamin crotalaria is Andrishamin crotalaria is decandrous. Decandrous means 10 stamens are present. Decade means 10. Decandrous 10 stamens and the speciality is in the total plants of Fabaceae, the stamens are diadelphous. But there are two plants in Fabaceae with monodelphous stamens. One is Crotalaria, the other is Arachis. So, Crotalaria, the answer is Decandrous 10 stamens and monodelphous. They are arranged in one bundle. <coughs> Polyandrous is wrong, monodelphous is correct. Decandrous is correct, diadelphous is wrong. Polyandrous and diadelphous is wrong. Correct is Decandrous and monodelphous. Decandrous means 10 stamens. Monodelphus means all unite to form a bundle. Now only I am telling in the total plants of Fabaceae, two plants show monodelphus condition. All plants show diadelphus condition. Those two plants which show monodelphus condition are Crotalaria and Arachis. So, answer is Decandrus and monodelphus. Position of solitary flower and type of fruit in a liliaceae member showing hercogamy. In a liliaceae member showing hercogamy. A liliaceae member showing hercogamy. Hercogamy means arrangement of essential organs in different directions which is found in hibiscus which is of malvas. Arrangement of essential organs in different directions is found in gloriosa. So, self pollination is prevented, cross pollination occurs due to the arrangement of essential organs andrisham and gynecium in different directions is gloriosa. So, in gloriosa hercogamy is found. Here the position of solitary flower is axillary. Suppose because gloriosa shows axillary solitary flowers. Gloriosa shows axillary solitary flowers and the fruit in gloriosa is septicidal capsule. So, Gloriosa is the answer for a plant in Liliaceae for Hercogamy. Hercogamy means either arrangement of essential organs in different heights like in Hibiscus or essential organs in different directions like in Gloriosa. So, a Liliaceae plant with Hercogamy means Gloriosa. In Gloriosa, the inflorescence or flower single solitary flower is axillary and the fruit is a septicidal capsule. Fruit is a septicidal capsule. Liliaceae is a family which shows so many aspects regarding root, so many aspects regarding stem, so many aspects regarding leaf and many important characters starting from inflorescence to fruit. So, for this the answer is axillary solitary cyme and septicidal capsule. Plants of Fabaceae with monoadelphus stamens, just now I explain. Plants of Fabaceae with monoadelphus condition is seen in Arachis and Crotalaria. Crotalaria and Arachis shows monoidal first stamens. Crotalaria is a, gives a fiber. Crotalaria shows it gives a fiber. Here it shows simple leaves. It is a plant with simple leaves. Here the inflorescence is terminal simple regime. Terminal simple regime. So this is the only plant with simple leaves. Only plant of Fabaceae with simple leaves showing pulvinate leaf base. Then coming to Arachis. Arachis means groundnut. Groundnut. The speciality of groundnut is groundnut shows geocarpic fruits. That means fruits are formed under the soil. Actual fertilization pollination, pollination occurs above the soil. After the completion of pollination, 
the plants contain special gynophores. Gynophore means a small stalk. These gynophores take the flowers into the soil and once the fertilizer flower grows into the soil at the tip of these gynophores inside the soil you will find the fruits that is geocarpic. So, plants of fabaceae with monodelphous condition of stamens is arachis and crotalaria answer is 3. Now, arachis shows geocarpy condition, arachis show geocarpy condition means in groundnut the fruits are formed under the soil, it is correct. The fruits of arachis are developed inside the soil, it is also correct. So, here the answer is both A and R are two R is not correct explanation. In flowers of arachis, the pollination takes place above the soil level. Once the pollination is over, pollen grains go and deposit at the stigma. Immediately fertilization starts. For fertilization, the flower which is present aerially now pushed into the soil with the help of special stalk like structures called gynophores. Gynophores is a stalk between andrisium and gynesium. So, gynophore takes the fertilized or pollinated flowers into the soil. Within the soil, flowers converts into fruits and they formed inside the soil. So, assertion arachis show geocarpy condition is correct. Geocarpy, why? Because the fruits of arachis are developed inside the soil is correct. So, A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. Answer is 1. The ovary in Solanaceae members is oblique in position due to the tilting off, due to the tilting off. Posterior, car posterior car carpal in clockwise and anterior car clock is carpal is anti-clockwise is wrong. Posterior car carpal is anti-clockwise and anterior carpal is clockwise direction is wrong. Both the carpels in clockwise direction at an angle of 90 degrees is wrong. Both the carpels in clockwise direction at an angle of 45 degrees is wrong. In Solanaceae, the special feature is actual ovary is actinomorphic, but because of this, it will become partially zygomorphic. Why partially zygomorphic? Because carpels tilt like this. Carpels tilt like this. They tilted at an angle of 45 degrees. Posterior portion of carpel is tilted to right side. Anterior portion of carpel towards the bract it is anterior. Anterior portion of carpel is tilted to left side. So, posterior portion of carpel is tilted to right side. Anterior portion of carpel is tilted to left side. That means total in clockwise direction at an angle of 45 degrees. So, the ovary in Solanaceae members is oblique in position due to the tilting of carpels, due to the tilting of carpels, both the carpels in clockwise direction at an angle of 45 degrees is the answer. So, answer for this is 4. Now, coming to a matching. List 1 is bulb of allium sepa, cloves of allium sativum, aloe and calms of colchicum, autumn nail. The other side, the economic importance of those important aspects. Treating the piles, chemical mutagen, colchicin, gastric and heart problems, useful fiber, bactericidal property, answer is 1. A is 5. Bulb of allium sepa is bactericidal properties. Bulb of allium sepa is bactericidal properties. B is 3. Close of allium sativum, nothing but garlic is useful to control gastric and heart problems. It is widely used to control gastric and heart problems. Aloe, aloe is 1. It is widely used to treat piles. Then colchicum autumnal calm. The speciality of colchicum autumnal calm is the calm and seeds of colchicum autumnal. The calm and seeds of colchicum autumn nail gives a special special mutagen called colchicin. Whenever the colchicin is added to any tissue, its chromosomal number get doubles. That means, if zygote 2n is added with colchicin, it will become 4n. <laughs> to any tissue, if colchicin is added, it prevents the formation of spindle fibers during metaphase 
<coughs> which is called endomitosis and ultimately results in the doubling of chromosomes. So, colchicine is widely used in producing polyploids, usually used in producing polyploids. So, bulb of allium sepa, bactericidal property, close of allium sativum, gastric and heart problems, allo treating piles, calm of colchicomatum nail, chemical mutagen called colchicine. So, answer is 1. Datura shows all the three kinds of phyllotaxy, alternate phyllotaxy, opposite phyllotaxy, hold phyllotaxy. In all members of solanaceae, peduncle shows adnation with the stem. A is correct, R is false. In all the members of solanaceae, peduncle does not show adnation with the stem. In all the members of solanaceae, petiole shows adnation with the stem, but not peduncle. Peduncle shows adnation with the stem mostly in solanum nigrum, solanum melangina, solanum tuberosa. So, Datura shows all the type. Vegetative parts show alternate phyllotaxy because of adnation of petiole with the stem, it shows opposite and hold phyllotaxy. So, answer is 4 for this. Similarity between the flowers of Solanaceae and Liliaceae is that both are. Similarity between the flowers of Solanaceae and Liliaceae is that both are. Pentamerous is wrong. Solanaceae is pentamerous, Liliaceae is trimerous. Homochlamydias is wrong. Liliaceae is homochlamydias, Solanaceae is heteroclamydias. Have oblique ovary. Oblique ovary is present only in Solanaceae but not in Liliaceae. The only common character shared by the ovary of Solanaceae and Liliaceae is hypogynous condition. That means thalamus is slightly bulged ovary is present at the tip remaining floral parts from the base which is called as superior ovary or hypogynous flowers. So, answer is 2. Coming to an assertion, Liliaceae belongs to the class Monocotyledonae. Liliaceae belongs to the class Monocotyledonae is correct. The flowers of Liliaceae exhibit axile placentation correct. But because the flowers of Liliaceae show axile placentation, it is not belonging to Monocotyledonae. Monocotyledonae because of some other characters as fibrous root system, parallel venation in the leaves, trimerous flower, something like that. So, here both are correct. But reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. So, A and R are correct. R is not the correct explanation of A. Again a matching. Medicinal oils, persistent calyx, straight embryo, loculicidal capsule. Medicine for this the answer is 3. A 5. Medicinal oils are obtained from Pongamia pinnata, Deris indica of Fabaceae. Persistent calyx is found in physalis. It is marsescent calyx, acrescent calyx in physalis. So, 1. Straight embryo nicotiana. In all, most all plants of Solanaceae, embryo is curved. Very important concept. In all, most all plants of Solanaceae, embryo is curved, but in nicotiana, it is straight. So, nicotiana is a plant with uh, septifragal capsules. It is a plant with panicle inflorescence and it is a plant with where embryo is straight and loculicidal capsule, loculicidal capsules are found in lilium bulbiferum. Lilium is a plant of liliaceae with lilium loculicidal capsule. So, medicinal oils, pongamia, persistent calyx, physalis, straight embryo, nicotiana and loculicidal capsule, lilium. A medicinal plant of Solanaceae in which the fruit is a berry. So, a plant of Solanaceae where which is used in making medicines, the fruit is a berry is, it is not Lycopersicon esculentum because in Lycopersicon esculentum fruit is a loculicidal capsule and absolutely it is not a medicinal plant. Capsicum frutescens, the fruit is a berry, but it is not used as a medicinal plant, it is used as a condiment. Nicotiana tabacum, fruit is not a berry, it is a septi fragal or nicotiana tabacum is a septifragal capsule. Then solanum nigrum it is called comanche and here the fruit is a berry and this plant is widely used as a medicinal plant. So, answer is 4. Liliaceae differs from solanaceae in having. Liliaceae differs from solanaceae in having. In Liliaceae, epipetalous condition is seen in some that is called epiphyllous stamens. In Liliaceae, you do not find pentamerous flowers. 
in liliaceae stipulate leaves you do not find, but liliaceae and solanaceae difference is trimerous flowers. Here liliaceae differs is as, so liliaceae differs from solanaceae in having trimerous flowers. Trimerous means 3 petals, 3 sepals or perianth lobe 6 arranged in 2 groups of 3 each, answer is 4. Again assertion, solanaceae plant shows alternate phyllotaxy in the vegetative regions but appears to be opposite or hold in the flowering regions. This is correct. Why? Because some plants of solanaceae show adnation of peduncle with the internode of the stem, adnation of petiole with the internode of the stem. So, for this the answer is not 1, it is 2, both A and are correct or does not explains the A. Next. Wrong combination of the following. Wrong combination of the following is solanum porous dations of anther is correct. Anther produces minute pores through which pollen grains are liberated. Physalis acrescent calyx where the sepals are persistent even after the fruit formation they remain and they cover the fruit like an inflated sheet. Nicotiana straight embryo just now I told in all plants it is curved embryo in Nicotiana it is straight embryo. Datura is not bilocular ovary at maturity. Datura speciality is because of the formation of a false septum it becomes tetralocular ovary. So, Datura becoming bilocular ovary is wrong. Datura is tetralocular ovary at maturity is correct. So, answer is 2. Cladodes bearing unisexual flowers are found in. Cladodes bearing unisexual flowers. In a plant like Ruscus, scale leaves are present. From this scale leaves a leaf like cladophyll or cladode develops. A leaf like cladophyll or cladode develops. On these cladodes another scale leaf will come and from the axils of this scale leaf you will get unisexual flower. So, Ruscus is a plant of liliaceae with unisexual flowers. There are two plants of liliaceae with unisexual flowers. One is Smilax, the other is Ruscus. In Ruscus, the cladodes are present. So, cladode bearing unisexual flowers are found in Ruscus. Aloe barbadensis, it is not. Lilium, bisexual flower. Smilax, unisexual flowers, but it does not show cladodes. And Ruscus is the plant with cladophylls or cladodes showing unisexual flowers in the axils of the scale leaves which are formed on the cladodes. So, answer is 4. Next, assertion, solanaceae members show obliquely placed carpels on the thalamus, it is correct. Solanaceae members show obliquely placed carpels on the thalamus is correct. In solanaceae members, the anterior carpel is tilted towards the right side and posterior carpel tilted towards the left side rotated at 45 degrees. In solanaceae members, anterior position is this position, it is tilted to left side. Posterior position is tilted to right side, 45 degrees is correct, but the assertion is wrong. Here it is given as anterior is towards the left side and posterior is towards the right side, it is wrong. Posterior, anterior is tilted towards the left side, posterior is tilted towards the right side, but here it is given as anterior is tilted towards the right side and posterior is tilted towards the left side, it is wrong. So, solanaceae members showing obliquely placed carpels on the thalamus is correct, but in solanaceae members the anterior carpel towards the right side and posterior carpel towards the left side rotated at 45 degrees is wrong. So, answer for this is A is correct, R is false. Though the thalamus is cup shaped, the ovary is superior in one of the following members of Fabes. Though the thalamus is cup shaped, cup shaped thalamus calyce flore, calyce flore is found in Fabaceae or Fabaceae belongs to the series calyce flore, but ovary becomes superior due to the formation of a special stalk at the base in which plant of Fabaceae means not Dalbergia latifolia, Dalbergia latifolia is Indian rosewood, Tyrocarpus santalinus is red sanders, Pongamia pinnata is Kanuga and Crotularia gentia is Genum. So, here the answer is Crotularia gentia. In Crotularia gentia, because of the formation of a small stalk at the base of the ovary, the half inferior, half superior ovary becomes superior. 
So, the thalamus is cup shaped. The ovary is superior in one of the following members of Fabaceae is Crotalaria gentia. Answer is 4. Now, in the family of Solnaceae, posterior and anterior carpels are tilted towards the right side. Posterior and anterior is wrong. Posterior carpel is tilted towards the right side and anterior carpel tilted towards the left side is correct. So, answer is 2. Posterior carpel to left side is wrong. Both anterior and posterior tilted to left is wrong. So, here answer is not 1, it is 2. Posterior carpel is tilted towards the right side and anterior carpel is tilted towards the left side. Wood of pterocarpus. Wood of pterocarpus sandalinus is used in making. There are two wood yielding plants of Fabaceae. One is Dalbergia latifolia which is called Indian rosewood. The other is Tyrocarpus santalinus. Other is Tyrocarpus santalinus. This is called red sanders. Dalbergia, these are the only wood yielding plants of Fabes. Dalbergia latifolia, Indian rosewood is used in making furniture. Whereas, red sanders is used in making musical instruments. Very popular plant, very, very valuable, economically valuable plant. Tyrocarpus sandalinus, red sanders is widely, widely, widely used in making musical instruments. So, Tyrocarpus is a plant of Fabaceae where <coughs> the wood is widely used in making musical instruments. So, answer is 1. Now, this is a three column tabular form. Allo barbadensis, panicle, medicinal, agonist, piles is correct. In allo barbadensis, the inflorescence is panicle is correct and medicines given against the piles is correct. Solanum nigrum, solitary cyme, medicinal plant is wrong. Solanum nigrum is not solitary cyme. It is Another inflorescence, simple resume, it is not, but it is a medicinal plant. Crotalaria gentia, compound resume, fiber yielding plant. Fiber yielding plant. Crotalaria gentia is not compound resume, it is simple resume. Crotalaria gentia is not compound resume, it is simple resume. Tephrosia purpurea, simple resume, green manure, it is correct. Tephrosia purpurea, the inflorescence is simple resume, and the plant is used as a green manure. What is green manure? The plants are spread on the soil, the plants are grown on the soil because they contain bacterial root nodules. Bacterial root nodules contain rhizobium bacteria leading a symbiotic life in the roots. They help in fixing the molecular nitrogen as nitrates and enrich the soil fertility that is called green menu. So answer here is 1 and 4. Allo barbadensis panicle medicinal plant is correct. Solanum nigrum is a medicinal plant but the inflorescence is not solitary sign. Crotalaria is not compound resume, it is simple resume. Fiber yielding plant is correct, but compound resume is wrong. Tephrosia purpurea, simple resume, green manure is correct. So, which two of the above items show correct combination means 1 and 4. Allo barbadensis, panicle, medicinal plant. Tephrosia purpurea, simple resume, green manure. Now, flowers of Solanaceae are. Flowers of Solanaceae are bisexual. They contain androecium and gynecium. They are actinomorphic. They give two equal halves in any plane passing through the center. That is actinomorphic. Hypogynous. Flowers show a thalamus which is slightly bulged. Ovary is present at the tip of the thalamus. The remaining floral parts are formed below the ovary. The position of ovary is superior. So, bisexual, actinomorphic, hypogynous is correct. First one is correct. Bisexual zygomorphic is wrong. It is not zygomorphic. It is partially zygomorphic. Bisexual actinomorphic perigynous is wrong. Bisexual zygomorphic epigynous is wrong. So, answer is bisexual actinomorphic hypogynous. First option. <coughs> Straight embryo is seen in the seed of one of the members of Solnaceae, Nicotiana tabacum. Just now I told about this Nicotiana. Nicotiana is a plant of Solanaceae which is nothing but tobacco. It has 
panical inflorescence three basic characters it has two it shows septifragal capsule panical inflorescence septifragal capsule third is seed showing straight embryos in almost all other plants embryo is curved but in solanaceae a plant with straight embryos is tobacco nicotiana tobacco so nicotiana tobacco is identified by three basic characters inflorescence is compound rhizome or panicle the fruit is septifragal capsule where the capsule breaks in between the septa of carpels or behind the locules almost at the center the fruit wall fall off like bits seeds are attached to central swollen axis so straight embryos are seen in the seed of one of the following members of solanaceae means nicotiana tobacco in datura stramonium in atropa belladonna in physalis minima they are curved embryos leaves of the following plant yields fiber leaves of the following plants of liliaceae exact question is leaves of the following plant of liliaceae gives fibers smilax and scilla does not give fibers aloe and yucca does not give fibers dracaena and aloe does not give fibers fibers are given by yucca and dracaena dracaena and yucca are two plants of liliaceae with anomalous secondary growth this is another bit regarding dracaena and yucca and another important bit regarding dracaena and yucca is they are fiber yielding plants of liliaceae dracaena and yucca important bit is anomalous secondary growth and dracaena yucca are the important plants which gives fibers next so answer is 2 now this is again a three column matching liliaceae coronaria sestrum liliaceae coronaria sestrum is wrong because sestrum belongs to solanaceae liliaceae coronaria correct liliaceae belongs to the series coronaria but sestrum does not under, comes under liliaceae because sestrum nocturnum is night queen which belongs to solanaceae fabaceae calaceae florae indigo fera is correct fabaceae belongs to calaceae florae indigo fera blue type plant this is called blue dye plant which is found in fabaceae fabaceae thalamae florae helianthus is wrong solanaceae bicarpellate physalis is correct solanaceae belongs to bicarpellate and physalis is correct so definitely answer is 2 and 4 next in solanaceae petiole is adnated to the stem pedicel is adnated to the peduncle stipules are adnated to the petiole bracts are adnated to the peduncle the answer is petiole is adnated to the stem that's why the alternate phyllotaxy on the vegetative parts appears like opposite or hold phyllotaxy so first option <coughs> inflorescence in lilium lilium is a plant of liliaceae lilium bulbiferum lilium bulbiferum this plant is known for imbricate bulb that means bulb is not surrounded by any tunix this plant is known for solitary terminal sign this plant is known for imbricated bulb this plant is known for terminal solitary sign that means the plant shows a single flower at the tip so answer is terminal solitary sign terminal simple raceme is found in asparagus so i am telling the other options also terminal simple raceme is found in asparagus axillary panicles are not present axillary solitary cyme is found in gloriosa so the answer for this is terminal solitary cyme in fabaceae nectaries are present in in fabaceae nectaries are present at the base of the ovary because they are present at the base of the ovary insect goes deep into the flower and disturbs the wing petals and keel petals andrisium and gynesium comes out piston mechanism takes place and pollination occurs so they are present at the base of the ovary answer is second now leaves of the following plant of solanaceae are widely used to cure asthma there are two plants of solanaceae by name solanum surattains 
and Datura stramonium. These are the two plants of Solanaceae where the leaves are used widely used to cure asthma. These are the two plants of Solanaceae where the leaves are widely used to cure asthma. What are those two plants? Solanum surathines and Datura stramonium. Solanum surathines is also called Solanum xanthocarpum. Solanum xanthocarpum speciality is leaf margins are modified into spines. Leaf margins are modified into spines and the leaves are widely used to cure asthma. Sestrum nocturnum, Datura stramonium is the answer. Sestrum nocturnum is night queen. Capsicum frutescens is chilies. Physalis minima shows acrescent sepals. So, leaves of following plant of Solanaceae widely used to cure asthma is Datura stramonium. There is another plant also Solanum surathines or Solanum xanthocarpa. So, one is the answer. Protogyne is seen in. These are the four plants of Liliaceae. Gloriosa superba, Smilax gyananicum, Colchicum autumnale, Aloe barbadens. Previously, we explained that Gloriosa superba shows hercogamy where essential organs are arranged in different directions. Smilax gyananicum shows unisexual flowers, so no question of contrivances of protogyne, something like that. Aloe barbadensis show panicle inflorescence, self pollination is possible. So, protogyne, maturation of gynecium much before andrecium is seen in which plant of Liliaceae means colchicum autumnale. Colchicum autumnale, the self pollination is prevented and only cross pollination occurs due to protogyne, maturation of gynecium much before andrecium. Answer is 3. <coughs> Spiny leaflets, ale, protogyne, cohesion of perianth. Answer is 4. Spiny leaflets is Ulex. Ulex is a plant in Fabaceae with spiny leaflets. Aloe. Aloe is 2. So, aloe is the aloe plant. Protogyne is seen in Solanum and cohesion of perianth is seen in Helianthus. So, this is answer. Next. This is a 3 column tabular form. Vakudu, Solanum nigrum, xerophyte. Wrong. Garlic, Allium sepa is wrong. Allium setayamum is correct. Soya bean, glycin max, mesophyte is correct. And butcher's broom, ruscus aculeata, zero fight is correct. So, answer is 3 and 4. Again, 3 column tabular form. Number of locules in the ovary, fruit type and plant. In this correct combination, 3 carpels, 3 locules, berry, asparagus, correct. 5 carpels, loculicidal capsule, hibiscus is wrong. Phylocules. 1 berry solanum. So, second the answer is 1 and 2. 3 carpels berry asparagus is correct. 5 carpels loculicidal hibiscus is correct. 1, one locule in solanum cannot be seen. It is 2 locules and 2 cannot be seen in nicotiana. Nicotiana is multicarpillary. So, 3 and 4 are wrong. 1 and 2 are correct. Answer is 3, 1 and 2. Economically useful part of Vithania from which rejuvenating tonic is obtained. There is a plant in Solanaceae called Vithania somnifera. This Vithania somnifera is commonly called as Aswagandha. The speciality is the root extract of these plants. The root extract of these plants is widely used as a rejuvenating tonic. Root extract of this plant is widely used as a rejuvenating tonic and a energy providing tonic. So, Ashwagandha, Vithania, Somnifera belongs to Solanaceae and in this plant of Solanaceae, root gives a special tonic extract that is used as a rejuvenating tonic. So, economically useful part of Vithania from which a rejuvenating tonic is obtained is root. Second option. Again a matching tabular form. Match the following parallel venation, piston mechanism, monodolpha stamens, obliquely placed ovary, dolicus, petunia, yucca, parthenium, thespecia. Answer is 4. Parallel venation is 
parallel venation is found in yucca. 3. Piston mechanism is found in piston mechanism is found in either dolicus or parthenium. Dolicus. Then monodelpha stamens are found in monodelpha stamens are found in the specia. Obliquely placed ovary is found in petunia. Next. Presence of staminal tube is a special feature of presence of staminal tube is a special feature wherever filaments of stamens are united anthers are free. So, answer is Malvesi and Malvesi and Fabesi here the staminal tube is clearly formed. Inflorescence in asparagus racemosus. Asparagus racemosus is a plant of liliaceae. Asparagus racemosus is a plant of lilies. Inflorescence here is a simple raceme. Another important feature regarding asparagus racemosus is it is a xerophytic plant of liliaceae. Xerophytic plant of liliaceae with root, stem, and leaf modifications. Root becomes fasciculated tuberous roots. Fasciculated tuberous roots. Stem becomes a cladophyll, cladod or cladophyll. Leaves becomes either scales or spines because it is a xerophytic plant. So, asparagus racemosus is commonly called shetamuli. This shetamuli plant which is belonging to liliaceae is known for simple raceme inflorescence. Simple raceme inflorescence and another feature is xerophytic plant with root, stem, leaf modif. Root becomes fasciculated roots, stem becomes cladophylls or cladodes and leaf becomes scales and spines. So, these are some of the, some of the, I say only some of the important bits regarding taxonomy which are asked in the previous exams and very important bits regarding taxonomy, some direct questions, some matching questions, some assertion reasoning, some three column tabular forms, some ascending descending order questions and many other important aspects. So, taxonomy is over, next we start cell biology.